Hi, welcome back to the channel and just a quick stock clock Sunday for everyone. Um, I thought I'd show this today. It's a moving store padlock branded. Um, something that my, my son, my eight year old son, had picked up. Um, it was used as a shed padlock and it was all seized up and no more use, so he'd brought it back brought it round and uh, I freed it up, cleaned it up and it works not too bad. <laughs> Didn't think much of it, it's a five pin, the button's not too bad, the key is also branded, moving store. Um, something I hadn't really heard of before so quick look on the internet and it's a company based in Phoenix, Arizona in the States and they deal with imagine storage lockers and facility management and stuff. So how on earth this has made it from Phoenix, Arizona to a small back garden shed in the east of Scotland is beyond me. But it's a rather unusual. I had a look on YouTube as well, there's not many of these going around so I just thought I'd show it. Stock clock Sunday. Uh, nothing special. Bottom of the keyway tension, and we are just going to rake it using law lock tools, Nessie. And let's see if we can. There we go. Was that it? Nope, that wasn't it. That's it this time. Right to open. Um, if you were going to use this for a storage locker, I probably wouldn't bother. Um, did notice they do other, quite a lot of different padlocks. This is one of their cheap branded ones. They do an Abyss branded version as well, which is probably worth considering. So that is my stock lock Sunday. Um, I have one other padlock, just as a quick throw in. I noticed Southampton Lock Picking Club. I'd done a video last day or so um, about these squires and got me thinking, it's a number 39 and it was in response to something Lochnew had done a few months ago with regards to the locking mechanism so the uh, the one Lochnew had just had the, the locking poles that come out and Southampton Lock Picking Club were showing theirs which is a ball bearing mechanism so I just thought I'd throw this in as well um, I'll try and rake it with the old Nessie and then I can hopefully show you the blocking mechanism in this one. But more resilient. As you can see, it does rake. <laughs> and typically, it won't rake on camera a lot. Nope. Oh, well, Ray on camera. Thank God for that. I thought we were going to be there all night doing this. That's a bit embarrassing. Anyway, so that is the Squire number 39. And if we can turn it this way into the light, you will see that is the old ball bearing mechanism on this one. So they must have had a possible design change at some point along the lines, although this is by no way shape and form a new lock, so unless they have two versions out, I'm not sure. Anyway, that is Stock Lock Sunday, nice and simple, keep it easy, and I will catch you again in another video. Um, 
still pushing for the 100 subscribers once we get there I will work out what we're going to do with that um, definitely a giveaway a small celebration it's going to be around about Christmas time anyway I'd imagine so um, I've also been working on some lever locks or something different for the channel or something different for me so anyway I hope you've enjoyed this video I've tried to keep it short possibly not uh, leave a like, please leave a comment, and if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to the channel. If you have a lockpicking channel yourself, I will sub back for sure. I always like to see new stuff. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you again soon. Bye now.